NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Parts and video. We are going to discuss about how to calculate the maximum power transfer for the given two part network. For example, if a circuit is given, how to find the maximum power dissipated by the load? Is it all? We will solve this problem. This question is asked in gate twenty twenty examinations. The object of the question is. First one is, we got to find the Z L load impedance under the maximum power transfer condition. This is the first one. The second part is, we got to find the value, the amount of maximum power transfer to the load. Okay, we, if we know the thermal circuits for the two-point network, we can easily find. So the first objective is to find thermal circuits for the given circuit. Okay. Here, Z parameter matrix is given, so we know that Cartesian equation of Z parameter. Already we discussed in the part one videos. Okay, from the given Z matrix, Z one one value is given forty, Z one two value is given sixty, Z two one value is given sixty, Z two two is given one twenty. Okay, given matrix. Now we have to find V one. Apply the Gibbs voltage law in the side. We will get. So V one is equal to one twenty minus this drop. In time, okay. Substitute these values in this Z parameter equation. We will get V1 is equal to 120 minus 10 I1 is equal to Z11 is equal to 40 I1 plus Z12 is equal to 60 I2. Okay. Simply with this equation, we will get 120 is equal to 50 I1 plus 60 I2. Okay. Let us take this equation as one. Now substitute this parameter in equation two. So V2 is equal to Z21 is equal to 60, Z22 is equal to 100. Okay. Let us take this equation as 2. Now find the thermal voltage. What is thermal voltage? Thermal voltage means open circuit voltage. If it is open, load is open, then the load voltage will be a VT gauge. So V2 is equal to VT gauge when I2 is equal to zero. It is open. Okay. So V2 is equal to VT. Substitute. This values in this equation one and two. Now substitute this values in equation two. We will get V two is equal to V T gauge. I one sixteen I one I two is equal to zero. So we will get V T V T gauge is equal to sixty I one. Now substitute this values in equation one. We will get one hundred is equal to fifty I one. Simply this equation we will get I one is equal to two point four. Substitute this values in V T gauge equation. We will get V T gauge is equal to one forty four. Okay. The valence voltage calculation is over. Now we have to find the the valence resistance. How to find the the valence resistance? Already we discussed how to calculate the the valence voltage and the valence resistance. Just refer that video. Okay. For the calculation of the valence resistance, first we have to deactivate all the source. Deactivate means we have to short the voltage source and we have to open the current source. Then only the value of the source will be zero. Okay. So here only one source is here. We go to short the voltage source. Then connect one volt at the load side. V two is equal to one volt. Connect the one volt battery at the load side. Find I two. Now R two is equal to one by I two because V two is equal to one volt. Okay. We go to connect one volt battery here. Then we go to find I two. This is the process for the calculation of the valence resistance. Then, then R T is equal to one by I two. Okay. Now the equivalent circuit will become like this because the voltage source started, one volt battery is connected. For the circuit, we have to find I two. From the given circuit, apply this voltage law in this source side. We will get V one is equal to minus ten I one. Here V two is equal to given one volt. We go to find I two. If we know I two, we can find the valence resistance. So. Apply in the Z parameter equation. We know the Z parameter equation. V one is equal to forty I one plus sixty I two plus Z one one Z one two is already known. V two is equal to sixty I one plus one I two. Substitute these values in the equation. We'll get minus ten I one is equal to forty I one plus sixty I two. Simply this equation, we will get I one is equal to minus sixty by fifteen I two. Now substitute these values in the second equation. We'll get. V2 is equal to 1, 61 plus 100 I2. Already we know that relation between I1 and I2. Substitute this I1 equation, I1 values in the equation, we will get I2 value. So substitute this value, 1 is equal to 16 into I1, I1 instead of I1 is equal to minus 60 by 15 into I2. 
okay plus 1 into i2 simply with this equation we will get i2 is equal to 48 now what is the value of turns resistance rtk rtk is equal to 1 by i2 substitute this values we will get I, rtk is equal to 48 ohm now the turns resistance calculation is over we know the turns voltage we know the turns resistance under what condition the maximum power will be transferred? We know that when RTK is equal to RL, the maximum power will be transferred. So the EZL load impedance is equal to 48 ohm. When EZL is equal to 48 ohm, the maximum power will be transferred. Second one is the amount of maximum power transfer. What is the value of amount of maximum power transferred? P max is equal to VTK square by 4 RTK. Already we know that. This is the maximum power transfer concept. Okay. Substitute here. P max is equal to VTKH values 144. So 144 into 144 divided by 4 into RTKH is equal to 48. If you use simply with this equation, you will get 108 watts. This is the amount of maximum power transfer to the power. Okay. This is the procedures for the calculation of maximum power transfer and calculation of the variance resistance and the voltage for the two port network. Visit our website www.ncmlearningcenter.com. You can get the video materials for gate, IES, ISRO and other competitive examinations. Then PDF materials, PDF book materials prepared for NC Learning Center. If you use this material, definitely you can get the good marks in the competitive examinations. Then you can get the test series. Join our WhatsApp group, NC Learning Center WhatsApp group. That link is attached in the description box of the video. Join in our group. If you have any doubts related to the discussion, just post in the WhatsApp group. You can get the solutions. Good, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment, and share.